What is up, everybody? And I'm back today with a little movie review. So, um, the other day, I have bought uh, this movie, Detective Pikachu. And because, believe it or not, it's been on my queue for a while to watch. And I finally got a chance to see it. Even though it was months ago, it was in theaters. So now, I finally got a chance to watch this movie. Because I enjoyed the video game. So, how well does it, does it translate from the game to screen? So, well, in a way, I felt like I was entertained. I was happy. I was, uh, but then again, at the same time, I was uh, I was a little upset because they kind of kind of changed a little thing, some you know some minor details or some things uh, from the game to to the screen. But of course, to be perfectly honest with you, because um, kind of think about this: if you played the video game, um, there was a lot a lot that was encompassing in the game. Even though gameplay you could, was a little more simplistic and you could easily complete it in like a couple hours, so I think they I think um, they they took the best of both worlds from this and they added it to the to the movie so I, and so i feel like they really did a good job um i love the cast the visuals are absolutely visually stunning okay i praised the, the production team for making pikachu look so realistic so fun and so lovable that he just made me want to laugh <laughs> like literally like he was so good and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds, my hats off to him. Great work for playing one of our, one of them, our favorite, beloved, iconic um, uh, Pokemon characters, and that is Pikachu. And of course, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny considering that I heard that there was an online petition to get Danny DeVito to play the voice of Pikachu, which of course is kind of interesting. I was like, huh, because I felt like he definitely could have embodied the character because um, if you played the game, like he could, sounds completely different. So. And, I'll, and honestly, I think Ryan, Ryan Reynolds was is way be, was way better. Okay, but of course, then again, I heard rumors that um, The Rock was an, also considered on the shortlist to play Pikachu. That would have been interesting to watch. Hey, hey, it's The Rock playing Pikachu. If you smell what Pikachu is cooking, <laughs> my goodness. But anyway, um, the, sto the story um, I felt like did the game justice. It, did, it like I said, got the best of both worlds. Um, like and it's like the best of the game games. Like I'm glad that they made a couple of chapters, but they changed up a few few characters. Like uh, they got rid of the two reporter characters, which was Amelia and I forget who her name was from the game. Instead, it's a girl named Lucy, played by Catherine Newton, a fairly unknown. But of course, hey, um, I think I say Russia cast did a great job. Uh, that that's that's my only only thing that that my that was a little upset. But I was like they had to change change a few characters, but I'm glad they kept uh, Mr. Mm, mm, uh, Roger Clifford and his and that character because dun 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 he was the he was the bad guy because we all knew it. Okay, you know it's predictable, but I love how they changed it up to make it be like oh wow shit he he went he went this way uh, you know to bring um, you know Mewtwo about. I'm like wow. Great, crazy stuff, but uh, what I say, it was, was it like a dark tone a bit, but then again, it was a little lighthearted, so it was definitely fun and, and exciting. Um, Bill Nighy, uh, good, good job playing uh, Mr. Clifford, it was really good. Ken Watanabe, I was surprised, uh, surprised to see him in this movie, which was pretty pretty fun and interesting, because... Uh, Hey, uh, like I felt like he, you know, like uh, come on, if you're gonna come on, if you're gonna make a Japanese property, why don't get one Japanese uh, actor to play at least something, play something uh, character in this movie? So there they go. So yeah, not much else I can say about that. I really enjoyed it. Um, the look, I will say the, uh, I love the fact that they went as far as to let's see, film it looked like Singapore. Yeah, I will admit that I think they hit the mark on creating creating a city uh, that would definitely embody the whole. Pokemon World, so and I definitely, and of course, obviously, I can tell they try they film part of this in uh, Singapore because come on, come on, so that and some of those structures looked definitely, um, I always say Europe, you know, Oriental, if that makes any sense. So it definitely really works in their favor. Um, the visuals are just great. The story's good. Um, I love. I just. I just love mo most of the things that they've done here, here to bring the game game to life. I understand there is a sequel to the po po to the Detective Pikachu game, not the movie, but then again, it is still fun and exciting. Of course, come on, you can't just come on, you can't just pass up a movie. Look at him, come on, it's Detective Pikachu, folks. Good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say probably a, probably my pick a dark horse. Um, picked uh, for one of the best movies of this year so far. Um, and, well, that, that's my opinion. But of course, of course, I was gonna say, oh, Avengers is probably gonna be the big one. Which, of course, yeah, that's still I still gotta see that. Of course, do I have time to watch a three-hour movie? But of course, that's a story for another day. So that does for a day. So if I want to give Detective Pikachu a score, my score, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten because 
because for because they really had something special here. Um, my only things that that I said that well, that kind of made me upset was the fact they changed up some things. But of course, I think it was for the better or for worst of the movie. But of course, I don't know. How, however, how you look at it, it's still a fun and entertaining movie. I'm gonna say say one of the best. Uh, uh, I would say Pokemon live action Pokemon adaptations and like done really well. I I, I love it. Okay, so that does it for today. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for some more awesome, exciting videos.